Hi everyone, I'm Omar Villafranca. Thanks for joining us. The coronavirus is not taking the holidays off and health experts fear people gathering to celebrate will make a bad situation even worse. The nation hit another record Friday with more than 205,000 new infections. That is a single day high with many states not even reporting. The U.S. leads the world with more than 13 million infections and the virus has killed more than 1,400 Americans Friday, pushing the country's death toll to nearly 265,000 nationwide. Almost 90,000 people are hospitalized with COVID-19. Los Angeles County, which is the nation's largest, issued a new stay-at-home order to deal with its spike in new cases. All this as a panel of health experts is due to meet to discuss how to distribute the initial supply of a COVID-19 vaccine. Michael George has the latest. Spiraling cases have already put more than 90,000 people in the hospital, even before the shopping began. 66-year-old Shelly Dunn is one of them and lucky enough to be able to talk. It's really frightening. I thought an asthma attack was frightening. Stories from people struggling to stay alive are still not deterring holiday shoppers and gatherers or giving health care workers a break. We will not get a reprieve because then Christmas comes and then New Year comes. So if we're just stacking surge upon surge upon surge, I am significantly worried about that. Before Thanksgiving, 32 states saw increases in new daily COVID cases with Pennsylvania, Arkansas and Massachusetts breaking records. And in Oklahoma, the officials are getting pushback from the Nurses Association after it decided to allow nurses who test positive to work. It is a mixed message to the public to allow asymptomatic COVID positive nurses, physicians and other health care workers to work. But in Vermont, Governor Phil Scott told residents of his state social gatherings have consequences. If you are going to have a gathering with, with households outside of your household, we're asking you uh, to be, um, uh, to tell us that, that you shouldn't send your kids to school next week, uh, that you should quarantine your kids for at least seven days, get a test. The county of Los Angeles banned public and private gatherings for anyone outside a household. Though religious services and protests can take place because they're protected by the Constitution. And a 10 p.m. curfew in San Antonio, another attempt to slow the spread, has been disparaged by bar and restaurant owners. It is nonsense and it's not fair to the citizens of San Antonio. They're grown adults, they can make their own decisions about whether they gather and how they gather. As people continue to play tug of war with the coronavirus, the vaccine is expected to get another push down the fast track Tuesday when the Centers for Disease Control holds an emergency meeting.